Hi everyone, how are you doing? This video in particular is for healers and in it I want to discuss things that you could experience if you're a new healer or even an experienced one that maybe you might not understand what's going on but I want to give my explanation and confirmations that I've gotten through my own clients and my own experiences and hopefully this can shed some light on experiences that you have had as well. But before we do that, please allow me to introduce myself. Hi, my name is Crystal Keen. I'm a, a Reiki master teacher and a grandmaster of Atlantean Reiki and Lemurian Light. Now I have my list over here. I wanted to keep on track. So if you see me looking over, I'm just looking at my list here. All right, so let's just go ahead and dive right in. So, emotional waves. Now we all, healers, we have different psychic abilities as well. And you may be leaning into one or two in particular. So um, if you're not really clairsentient, maybe you don't feel this as much. Or if you're you don't consider yourself to be an empath. You might not feel this one as much. I'm not saying that you won't, but but maybe not as strongly. So the emotional waves. You know, your client can seem completely calm, like nothing is happening at all, but you can feel the emotions within their bodies. You could feel it being released out through their aura. And it could feel like waves almost hitting your body. You know, the energetic waves, the... Um, emotional waves just hitting your body and it could feel almost tingly in a nature you feel it in your head you feel it throughout your body you know when you get those truth bumps at least I call them truth bumps when somebody is telling the truth and you know it and you just feel it and the hair on your arms just stick up clairsentience right there uh, you feel that at an extreme rate and I would say I definitely feel these energetic waves highly when I'm doing psychic surgery, when I'm helping people to release a crap ton of energy and difficult emotions that have been stuck and blocked in their body where um, psychic surgery is really called for. So if you felt that and didn't know what that was, that's a big emotional energetic release. Okay, so have you ever been healing and then, you know, it might take a little while but then you start to like, your body starts to sway back and forth. It could be fast, it could be slow, and you're like, why is my body moving? <laughs> well, it's because you're feeling your client's energetic body. It's a good sign that they have fully let you in to take, to go ahead and do the healing, to allow it to take place. You're feeling the energetic body and you being present within it. Even though people give us permission, because we're supposed to ask for permission to enter their aura, sometimes it takes people a little while to relax and trust you to do exactly what it is that you're saying that you're doing. So you could feel that swaying of that. There's some people where you may not feel it with because they've been through a lot of traumatic events. And when you've been through a lot of trauma, you pull your aura extremely close to your body. It's hard for you to trust people. It's hard even to go see a healer. So you might not feel it with people like that. But the more you work with them, the more that they allow you to work with them, several sessions perhaps, you'll start to feel the wave of it. If it's really warm in particular, then you know that they need to cleanse their aura. All right, let's see what's next. Okay, so... Of course, most of us healers, we heal with our eyes closed so that way we can pick up on anything and relay it to the client. So seeing pillars of light off to the side of your client, this is usually their team of lights. It could be ancestors, it could be spirit guides, it could be any number of people from their team, but that's exactly what you're seeing there. And if... um you are smelling say roses it's got to be roses in particular that could be either an archangel or a guardian angel so if you're just smelling roses and there's nothing around that's causing that 
to happen, then know that that's exactly what that is. It's archangels or the guardian angel coming in and assisting in the healing and for comfort. Okay, next we're going to talk about depression. So depression, it feels like quicksand. Your hands feel like they're being sucked within the body. It's not just when you're up doing healing in the aura, but it can also be when you're doing hands on. It just feels it's like your hands are sinking down into the body. Like it, it's just grabbing onto the light so tightly that it feels like it's pulling you in like quicksand. That's what depression feels like. It may feel different to you, but that's how I was taught to feel it. And that is exactly what it feels like. So if somebody has been hurt very deeply in their heart space, it could feel like there's a lead shield sitting there. It could be very heavy. It could be very dense and it could take a lot of work in several sessions to remove that. But you, if you feel like this heaviness, like I feel like I'm hitting a brick wall, it's not just a blockage. It's, you know, several layers of heaviness sitting there. Uh, it is still a blockage, but still it will feel like a very heavy lead kind of shield. I find in particular, if your client is really good with water, like they kind of have like affinity for water. They love going in the ocean and stuff. If you have some ocean water on you, I have a little bottle just, you know, from Florida. When my sister took a trip, she got me a bottle or yeah, she got me a bottle and then my friend got me a bottle and they just gave it to me. So if somebody is like really highly attuned to water and I use, I put some of it in my hand and I rub it on the area. I notice that it lifts a little bit easier. So that could be a tip or trick if you find that that works in particular. If other elements work, then you know you can do suggestions for that instead. All right, so this, this one here in particular are for my people that are clear aliens or have clear aliens or, oh my gosh, what's that other one called? I don't know. I can't remember what the other one's called at this moment. But um, you could smell or taste certain things in certain body parts. Like, for example, if somebody doesn't realize that they have maybe a sickness or a disease in a certain organ and you smell kind of this sick smell, there's nothing in, nothing else in the room that's causing it. It's not their natural body odor or something like that. And you're working on an area and you smell it know that you could be detecting some type of illness or disease within an organ. And the same is true for taste. Maybe suddenly you're tasting a certain type of fruit or a vegetable. You're tasting that because that's something perhaps a client needs to ingest to help their body to heal on a deeper level. So trust that. Okay, feeling tingles within your hands. You know when your hands or your feet fall asleep? And it's just that annoying prickly feeling. I find that it could be true that it could be a couple of things for why you're feeling that. One, it could be a type of protection within the aura. Two, they have some type of nerve damage. It's usually they do have nerve damage. Or three, um, Archangel Metatron kind of has that feeling to him as well, along with blasts of air. So it could be one of those things. And you could always discuss that with your client. I'm feeling this tingly feeling. And a lot of times you will find that there's some type of nerve thing that's going on there. Feeling fullness. So you feel like you're kind of full. You're absorbing so much energy. My suggestion for you is to transmute is blow out. You just keep blowing out till you stop feeling that full feeling. And then when you're doing distance work, you may notice that you'll see certain body color um, body parts in different colors. Like to me, seeing a body part in yellow would mean a low amount of pain. Orange would mean a moderate amount of pain. Red would be extreme pain. And black means like the nerves or something are dead within that area. And you may see uh, little like not splotches, but like, like scribbles or something in somebody's aura. That's usually light codes. I really see that when other healers work on me, but if you see that, that's what it could be. I hope this was helpful.